Thank you for viewing this training on how to use the Cisco Collaboration Experience Program Data Loss Prevention Demonstration Tool. My name is David Jennings and I'm a technical engineer within the CCP team. In today's training, we're going to explain what the DLP demo tool is, what its capabilities are, and how you can best use it within your customer demonstrations. Then we're going to move on to a live demonstration of the usage of the tool. And then finally, to conclude, we're going to explain the things that we saw within that demonstration. The DLP demo tool is designed to allow you to very quickly demonstrate some of the DLP and compliance capabilities that can be implemented using the WebEx Teams APIs. It allows you to create a space very quickly with a DLP or compliance policy applied to the people within it, and therefore highlight one of the key differentiators of Cisco's architecture. This being to allow business to business communications and to allow a company to maintain its own policy on its own employees within those spaces and apply different policies to different users within those spaces also. It can search for keywords as well as some specific types of messages such as credit cards and phone numbers. It also has a capability to search within Word documents, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint documents. It also has the ability to use text recognition within images However, you should ensure that you fully test this beforehand as it can be influenced by complex fonts or poor resolution images. It has a basic simple web interface to set up these demos with block lists and quick templates. Note, the purpose of this tool is to allow you to quickly demonstrate the art of the possible. It's not designed to replace a more in-depth complex policy with detailed auditing and reporting capabilities. If this is a requirement for your demonstration, then you should visit the dCloud CloudLock demo where this can better demonstrate these capabilities. The DLP demo tool is not designed to replace this kind of demo. So without further ado, let's visit the MyWebEx Sandbox site and see how to use this tool. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how the DLP demo tool can be used to apply policies to a space and how these policies take effect very quickly. This is a demonstration of the art of the possible. So for customers, this is a good method of showing things live, how they can work when APIs are used. The interesting thing here is that we can show how policies can be applied to different groups of people differently within a space. For example, uh, maybe we'd like external users to be able to post their telephone number in a space. But we don't want internal users to be able to do so for data security purposes. Or perhaps we want to allow external parties to post, for example, a specific application for. But we want to make sure internal people don't have the ability to do that. So let's start in the MyWebEx Sandbox main page. And this, this is the location where you will have set up your uh, WebEx Sandbox originally. And this is also where you access all of the tools related to demonstrations using this service. So on the left hand here you can see that we've got the tools and if we select that we have the WebEx Teams DLP demo tool. So let's select that. So here you can see we're at the location where we're going to configure our demonstration. So the way the demonstration works is that there is a space that is set up. And the people that you set to be uh, within that space, they're sent an invitation and they're pulled into that space. And any policies that you apply and configure here will be applied to those users from those different spaces. So firstly, we're going to configure the name of the space that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to call this the DLP Demo Tool uh, 7 Demonstration Space. So that's the name of the space that's going to be created. And then we have three companies here. Now you don't have to use all three, you can use two or even only one. We'd recommend that you use multiple companies for the purposes of flexibility and to show the real power of the tool. But the configuration of each company is pretty much the same. So you can see at the top here we enter the email addresses of our users. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so that's the email address of our first user. And then the second user. So the email addresses of our users have been entered here and then we have options for the filters that we're going to apply and we have two different options. The first option is that we can use a template 
So this would be a, a standard template that we've configured for you. We've got credit card numbers, social security numbers, phone numbers, and email addresses. And you can see that if I select one of those, so I'll select credit card numbers, the filters automatically get populated with uh, some uh, regular expression text here that defines the uh, patterns that match credit card numbers. And we can add multiple uh, filters here. So we could, for example, if we press enter to get a new line, and then I'm going to block the word cat. You can also write your own regular expressions if you're familiar with that notation. So you can create your own very flexible filters uh, within here, specific to the customer that you're demonstrating to. We don't have to use one of these templates. We can also use basic word uh, recognition also. So in this space, I'm going to add the words mouse, and I'm going to add the word cheese as well. So that's everything that we need to do. So I'm going to hit the create button. So what happens in this scenario is that the space is being created. All of the users that we've listed in those separate companies, they are uh, being invited into that space and the policies are being applied to those users uh, specific to the company that we're in. Now, if you've entered the email address of a user in there that doesn't presently have a WebEx Teams account, that user will be sent a standard WebEx Teams invitation email, inviting them to join WebEx Teams, set up a password, and when they do that, they will automatically have been added into this space for the purposes of the demo. So this is quite a useful way of creating demonstration users as well and driving adoption with your customer. So you can see that the uh, space has now been set up. We've got the space title that we created there and the policies that are applied. Uh, note we can update the uh, policy here. And we can actually do that live within the demonstration as well. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So let me uh, move that up to here. And you can see that on the left-hand side, we've got our company A user. And on the right-hand side down here, we've got our company B user. And you can see that both of these users, they have been invited into the DLP demo tool space. Okay, so from this uh, position, we can now uh, start doing our demonstration. So for example, uh, with John C on the left hand side here, um, the word cat is blocked. So if I type the word cat, <coughs> you'll see that that word is uh, almost immediately deleted um, and replaced with this message here to say that that message was deleted. It was posted by uh, John C at indigocloud.org because it was non-compliant with the company policy. Now, John C has also received a message directly saying that this message was deleted as it was non-compliant and the message was cat. And we can see that company B's perspective, they also see just that message, but they did not receive a direct message to say what the contents of the message was. Now, also, as the creator of this demonstration, I also receive a direct message. And the content of that message is exactly the same as this. So I, I also receive that, that notification. Um, and we can see that on the uh, left hand side here, um, John has doesn't have the word mouse block. So John can type that word in here, no problems whatsoever. But on the right hand side here, if we see this account, if we type the word mouse, we can see again, that's automatically deleted. So you can see the two different policies being applied within the space, same space to the two different sets of people. We can update this policy as well. So if you see, for example, uh, this person here, uh, they can type the word dog, no problem. That message is posted and remains in the space. However, if we update the policy to include the word dog and hit update, now if this user types the word dog, we'll see that that message is immediately deleted and the new policy has been applied. So again, very quick, very easy to um, work within the demo and change it to make it more relevant as you, uh, as you go. So additionally, within this space, we also have the ability to block certain words. So as you can see here, we have this document, super secret, uh, super important letter, and we can see that it contains the blocked word cat in this case. So uh, John C has that word blocked. So if John C was to um, upload that document, and this is a standard word document, um, we can see that the document is posted and again is then immediately removed because it was non-compliant with company policy. So it had a blocked word in there uh, that was removed. And this works exactly the same fashion with PDFs, PowerPoints, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, we also have the ability to um, block documents or block images that contain blocked words. So for example, I may be in a presentation and I might be sharing um, uh, sensitive data 
and uh, I'm not sharing that document itself, but maybe somebody externally is taking screenshots of that and posting them into a space for sharing. So um, in this case, if we, for example, select uh, the screenshot tool and we select um, this image that contains those blocked words, oops, and so you can see that the, uh, the image there is in the space and we're gonna press enter to share that image and you can see um, that is actually had text recognition applied and the word cat was blocked, so it was removed from the space. So in conclusion, um, we've seen that the DLP demonstration tool is accessible via the MyWebX Sandbox interface. At the moment, this is accessible internal only via um, Cisco portal through the Cisco account teams. However, we do plan on making this externally accessible. Uh, we viewed a basic demonstration on how we can very quickly show the power of the compliance capabilities of WebEx teams through using the API. And we saw how quickly we could spin up that demonstration and how simple it was to configure. And finally, as we mentioned, this is not a replacement for a more complex cloud lock or similar third party demo with analytics and ordering capabilities. This is designed for a very quick and basic demonstration of how messages and policies uh, can be applied to those messages. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this useful um, and have a good day.